Let's face it, if you want to travel the world, you got to do it by plane. Sure, there are cruise ships if traversing the seven seas is your preferred option, but they can take days, if not weeks, to reach your final destination. Yet planes are the super fast transport that get us where we need to be. You can wake up in the United States and go to bed in Australia thanks to the awesome airplane, but airplanes have so many other uses and some are even custom built to undertake massive tasks that you won't believe. From aircraft built to carry jumbo jets to luxury planes with walk-up bars and actual bathrooms, these are 15 abnormally large airplanes that actually exist. The first plane ever built here was a 747, the original jumbo jet. She quickly establishes herself as the undisputed queen of the skies. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. <coughs> Giant Antonov AN-225 Maria Getting this list off to a flying start, it's the world's largest cargo plane. This enormous aircraft is capable of carrying some mind-blowing heavy loads, including military tanks, trains, and even space shuttles. It's all thanks to its six engines and a simply massive cargo hold. It even emerged from semi-retirement recently, flying across the world to deliver emergency medical supplies in 2020. What a trooper! Yup, this super plane can hold 550,000 pounds of freight, has 32 wheels, and a wingspan the size of a football pitch. It's a real feat of engineering. The Soviet Union originally commissioned the production of the Antonov AN-225 in the 1980s to transport their revolutionary Buran space shuttle. But these days, it makes a living transporting epic cargo loads. It can even travel a whopping 3,000 miles loaded down with heavy goods. Useful, efficient, and awesome to look at too. This plane takes aviation to the next level. The Spruce Goose Watch out, there's a goose on the loose. This flying boat was the largest of its kind, with the widest wingspan ever built. Its real name is the H-4 Hercules, and it weighed a whopping 400,000 pounds. That's one big bird. It was built by the Hughes Aircraft Company and took its maiden flight on November 2, 1947. Rumor has it that Hughes himself hated its rhyming nickname, as he thought it was an insult to the builders and it was actually constructed with birch and not spruce, as the name suggests. Get it right, people! Now, you might think wood is quite an unusual material to build a flying boat with, and you'd be right. But metal was actually a critical wartime material at the time, and they didn't want to use up precious resources. So, how thrifty! The Hercules was originally designed to carry 750 fully equipped troops or two hefty Sherman tanks, and the U.S. government spent a staggering $22 million on the H-4 build. Even Hughes spent $18 million of his own money on the flying boat. It looks like it was all worth it, as the Spruce Goose was even declared to be a national treasure by the United States House of Representatives. Fast forward to the modern day, the huge 315,000 square foot hangar that housed Hercules was actually converted into a movie and soundstage, where blockbusters such as The Aviator, Titanic, Avatar, Eagle Eye, and Transformers were filmed. And its glory days are far from over, as Google are the latest tenants to move into the Spruce Goose's former home. Isn't it funny how things change over the years? <laughs> Convair B-36 Peacemaker This abnormally large airplane was the largest piston-powered combat aircraft ever built. That's right, its 230-foot wingspan is the widest of any combat aircraft ever in history, which is a super impressive achievement. The Convair B-36 Peacemaker had a total of 10 engines, including 6 radial and 4 jet engines, and this powerful plane served as the missing link between World War II propeller aircrafts and Cold War jets. This historical plane sure knew how to make an impression, with a total of 44,000 horsepower. The Peacemaker will be remembered by aviation buffs as one of the most legendary planes of all time. Now, despite all its achievements, the Peacemaker actually never saw combat, and it was only in service for 11 years. Today, out of 400 built, there are only four examples remaining in the world. Convair, we salute you! B-52 
When we mention the B-52s, you might be thinking of the 80s pop band responsible for hits like Rock Lobster and Love Shack. But did you know that the B-52 was actually a bomber plane? That's right, this abnormally large plane is an American long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber, also known by its full title, the B-52 Stratofortress. But if that's too much of a mouthful for you, you could use its not-so-affectionate nickname, Buff, Big Ugly Fat Fella. This epic plane may have been replaced by the Convair B-36, but it will never be forgotten. The bombastic B-52 was capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds of weapons and can even fly an average of 8,800 miles without aerial refueling. You could travel from New York to London and back again without even stopping for fuel. How efficient is that? In fact, during its career, the B-52 broke many records in terms of distance and speed. It beat the round-the-world speed record in half the time. In 1962, it flew an astonishing 12,500 miles nonstop from Japan to Spain without refueling, breaking 11 world records in one fell swoop. Incredible, right? And this amazing aircraft is still going. As of June 2019, 58 B-52s are in active service, with 18 more waiting in reserve. Long live the buff! <laughs> Lockheed C-5 Galaxy Boy, have we got another famous flying machine for you. Let us introduce you to the largest military transport in the United States' arsenal, the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. This enormous American aircraft is one of the largest planes in the world. How big are we talking here? Well, this spectacular aircraft is a staggering 247 feet long, making it a good 12 feet longer than this simply gigantic Airbus A380 passenger jumbo jet. This superplane has a wingspan of 222.8 feet and stands 65 feet tall. And the Air Force historian John Leland remarked that the C-5 symbolized the size, power, might, and majesty of the United States Air Force. Yep, this is one patriotic plane with a vast 34,000 cubic foot cargo bay. It's capable of carrying 250,000 pounds of cargo, including tanks and helicopters. Despite its titanic size, the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy carries a small crew of just seven people, a pilot, co-pilot, two engineers, and three loadmasters. The only problem this overachieving plane has is that sometimes it's simply too big. Yet the C-5 is too large to fit inside most hangars, and sometimes the Air Force has to take desperate measures and cut a hole in the hangar doors so that its tail can poke out. We're sure all the tall people out there can relate to that problem. <laughs> Antonov 124, in at number 10, were leaving behind the USA and flying east. Military Alliance NATO calls this massive plane the Condor, a fitting name for an impressive vehicle that resembles a giant bird. The Antonov 124 is a large strategic airlift, four-engined aircraft that was designed in the 1980s by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR. And to this day, the AN-124 remains the largest military transport aircraft in current service. This totally epic plane is a leader of the air cargo game and can carry oversized cargo up to 120 tons. It's a whopping 226 feet, 8 inches long, which is roughly the length of two basketball courts. It also boasts an awesome wingspan of 240 feet, 6 inches, and is 69 feet, 2 inches tall, roughly the size of a six-story building. They weren't messing around when they built the Antonov 124. <laughs> Tupolev 160 The Russian-made Tupolev 160 has many accolades. You could say it's the superstar of bomber planes. Not only is it the fastest bomber ever built, but it's the largest bomber ever built. If that wasn't enough records for you, it's also the heaviest bomber ever built. Basically, it's the top dog. The stunning Tupolev Tu-160 is nicknamed the White Swan thanks to its snow-white reflective coating. But this is more than just a paint job. The coating is designed to reflect thermal energy created by nuclear payloads on board the plane, protecting the crew on board. 
a very wise engineering decision. The large supersonic aircraft was designed to destroy targets in remote geographic areas and took its maiden voyage in 1981. When it comes to the Tupolev 160, there aren't many complaints to be made. However, one major drawback seems to be that it just isn't stealthy enough. However, work is being done to modernize this famous aircraft, so perhaps there will be a perfect model ready for action soon. Watch this space! <laughs> Boeing 747-8 You've probably heard of this next supersized plane, the king of the jumbo jets. The legendary Boeing 747 measures in at a breathtaking 250 feet long, 224 feet in wingspan, and just under 64 feet in height. Now that's one mammoth plane. The Boeing 747 flew for the very first time on February 9, 1969 and became the face of airline Pan American World Airways the next year, quickly becoming the favorite of air passengers all over the globe. Even the US presidents of years gone by have grown to love this plane as it served as the famous Air Force One, the official White House private jet. In a commercial setting, the beloved Boeing 747 can seat up to 467 passengers and even fly for 8,000 miles with ease. Now, while this fan favorite was once the largest passenger plane on Earth, it looks like the 747 is reaching the end of an era as big commercial planes dwindle in popularity. In fact, it was Rami Tenseth, Boeing vice president, who said, there will just be a handful moving forward Things we do for VIPs, things we do for the president, military operations, but we don't see a significant demand for passenger 747-8s. So there you have it, there may be a slim chance you'll get to fly on this classic plane in the future. Going, going, gone. <laughs> Airbus A380 Okay. You thought that the Boeing 747 was a big one? Wait until you check out the Airbus A380. This beast of an airplane is the largest passenger and most expensive airliner in the world. It's so big, in fact, that the A380 has to be built in a vast 1.6 million square foot assembly plant at Airbus headquarters in Toulouse, France. This jumbo jet is a mind-blowing 239 feet long, 79 feet tall, and 262 feet from wingtip to wingtip with four mega engines supplied by automotive legends Rolls-Royce and Engine Alliance. And all of that doesn't come cheap. The stupendous A380 comes with a price tag of $445.6 million. Hey, you get what you pay for. It made its first ever test flight on April 27, 2005. And the rest, as they say, is history. This double-decker plane has room for as many as 800 passengers and is the shining star of luxury air travel. It has showers in its bathrooms, as well as walk-up bars and spacious compartments, making it the first choice in transport for the rich and famous. However, this may just be a case of too good to be true, and unfortunately, the A380 is too big, expensive, and inefficient for most operators. Airbus announced it will end production of the A380 in 2021, meaning its golden age is officially nearly over. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> Airbus Beluga XL. This is a whale of a plane. No, literally, look at this thing. The resemblance really is uncanny. The Beluga XL is the Airbus family's newest venture, and the huge plane recently began full-time service in January of 2020. This aircraft may look like a cartoon sea creature, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the largest planes in the world. Who wouldn't want to fly in a plane painted like a whale? Now, we know what you're thinking. This is a great Instagram opportunity. But unfortunately, the Beluga XL is actually a cargo plane designed specifically to transport major sections of other Airbus planes. It can carry 110,000 pounds of cargo and can even fit entire sections of fuselage as well as two Airbus A350 XWB wings at a time. Basically, if you're not a pilot, co-pilot, or an engineer, you ain't gonna be flying on this abnormally large airplane anytime soon. To give you some perspective, on the sheer size of this XL plane, it's 207 feet long, 197 feet 10 inches in wingspan, and stands at 62 feet tall. Yep, when the Beluga XL tried to reach one of its wing factories in North Wales, the local Haywarden Airport didn't have a large enough runway for the mega jet to land, and had to install brand new blast fences. 
Yeah, this plane requires a lot of room and also a lot of cash. The Beluga XL has two Rolls-Royce Trent 700 turbofan engines, which cost roughly $40 million each. In fact, the entire cost of building the Beluga XL fleet was over a billion dollars. When you buy a whale, you gotta splash that cash. <laughs> Airbus Beluga Before the Beluga XL came its predecessor, the Airbus Beluga, otherwise known by its less catchy name, the A300-600 ST Super Transporter. This gigantic airplane was a whopper in its right, housing one of the most voluminous cargo holds of any civil or military aircraft flying today. Its capacity is a humongous 103,617 pounds in a typical load, and at its peak it would fly back and forth delivering airplane parts about 60 times per week. Despite its incredible stature, it only requires a crew of two to fly. With a total length of 184 feet 3 inches, a wingspan of 147 feet, and a height of 56 feet 7 inches, it's currently being phased out to make way for the much bigger Beluga XL. Looks like Airbus have got bigger fish to fry. Super Guppy It's Super Guppy to the rescue. This bizarrely named plane has an equally strange past. Former Air Force pilot Jack Conroy and aircraft broker Leo Mansdorf came up with the wacky idea of building a powerful plane that could transport spacecraft components for NASA. The only drawback was that NASA never even asked for it. Yup, they had their own system of transporting large parts from all over the United States via the Panama Canal, a risky and expensive journey that took weeks at a time. Conroy and Mansdorf managed to talk NASA around to their awesome aircraft, and the project was up and running. Nicknamed the Frankenplane because it was made of elements from other aircraft, this mismatched plane turned out to be the only airplane in the world capable of carrying a complete SIVB stage, the third stage of the Saturn V rocket. The guppy even cut the delivery time from factory to the launch site from a lengthy 18 days to a mere 18 hours, leading NASA to state they would not have been able to get a man on the moon by 1969 without the help of this awesome plane. Funny to think that two guys with a crazy dream ended up being a part of American history. What an inspiring story. <laughs> Dornier D.O.X. Who said planes were just for flying? This amazing vehicle doubles up as a boat. Yep, the iconic Dornier D.O.X. was the largest, heaviest, and most powerful flying boat in the world when it was produced by the Dornier Company of Germany in 1929. It weighed a whopping 61 tons, had a huge wingspan of 177 feet and over 12 engines and could reach an altitude of 1,650 feet. Not only was it dual purpose, but at the time it was also the height of luxury. The astounding airplane had a dining salon, smoking lounge, wet bar, and comfortable seating on board. It could even carry 66 lucky passengers on long distance flights. When things were good, they were very good, but when they were bad, well, they were very bad. There was a number of non-fatal accidents that occurred on the Dornier DOX, and in the late 1930s, it was grounded forever when the airline faced financial ruin. What a shame. We would have loved to take a trip on this luxury flying boat, wouldn't you? <laughs> Douglas XB-19 until 1946, the Douglas XB-19 was the largest bomber aircraft built for the United States Army Air Forces. Yet the creators behind this historic aircraft gave everything they had when they were building the XB-19. However, technology was moving at a faster speed than they could keep up with, and unfortunately, this remarkable plane had become obsolete before it was even completed. This must have been crushing. With a 212-foot wingspan and a length of 132 feet, there was only ever one model of XB-19 produced, and it would ultimately prove to be an unsuccessful endeavor. We're sure that it could have been glorious. Despite being left behind, this inspiring airplane led the way to create B-29 Super Fortress, which was one of the most successful strategic bomber airplanes of the entire war. Yup, Douglas was anything but a waste of time. Sometimes it's just a matter of wrong place, wrong time. 
cool. Airbus A330 The Airbus's world record may have been short-lived, but it was still an epic airplane that will go down in history. For two short years, the A330 would be the largest twin-engine aircraft until the game-changing Boeing 777-200 took the crown. But the A330 spent its glory days flying in style. It was Airbus's first jet to offer a choice of three engines, the General Electric's CF6, Pratt & Whitney PW4000, or the Rolls-Royce Trent 700. How generous! Yup, Airbus A330 was a real class act. It was so beloved by everyone that it even played a huge part of the European aircraft manufacturer's net income, adding to Airbus's success. When it was announced that production of the A330 would be cut, their stock share price fell in December of 2014. Still, the popular plane had a good run and will be replaced by a younger model, the Airbus A330neo. Ooh, sounds futuristic. We'll never look at an airplane in the same way again. Yup, these vehicles do way more than just take us from A to B. Who knew? Which one of these amazing feats of aviation was your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Missing Files channel so that you never miss another awesome vid. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.